So check this out. So long before the advent of the arm lock putter, I built this um, from a training aid I got my hands on and kind of patried it, if you will, cut it down, bent it a little bit, because I saw so many people coming to me with one of the greatest ills in putting, which was the giant flipasaurus or the breakdown. So I had to give them a feeling of what it would be like to take that kind of action out of their putting stroke, that flippiness at the bottom, that loss of face control, which obviously would never get the ball started on the correct intended starting line. So I built this guy, okay, so that they could put it in their left hand and press it against their left forearm and keep it mounted there and make strokes and feel for the first time what no breakdown was like. One of the biggest things I see with the amateur is that kind of action at the bottom. Hence, they've gone to cross-handed, they've gone to the pencil grip, the claw grip. They've made accommodations when really all they have to do is train correctly to create a feeling of an online impact condition. Okay? So that being said, I guess the next question I always get when I, when I talk about that with people is, do you endorse arm lock putting? And the answer is for people who have trouble with that, I certainly do. Bottom line is, you can't have a lot of breakdown at the bottom and start the ball in line consistently. So whether it's an arm lock or a train aid of some kind, okay, you've got to get some stability in that target side arm, hand, and wrist to create online delivery.